Hi guys, it's Natalie Zangon again. So I wanted to do a video about the reality of motherhood and to remind ourselves that we are not cotton candy and we're not supposed to just make our kids feel good all the time. And those of us that had kids after fertility or journey or whatever it is, wanting it sooner and it didn't happen till later, we also deal with that guilt that I became a mother when I waited so long and now I have these kids. So there's that constant guilt of saying no, setting boundaries, setting limits, setting like, you know, having a, conf um, a convenient like kind of like separation and discipline because there's all that guilt. I wanted these kids for so many years and I didn't have them, but now I do and I've got to give, give, give and be, be, be and provide, provide, provide and never make them feel sad. That's not true. Yeah, we are not m meant to as a parent and as mothers be like a continuous providing of good feelings for our children. There are going to be times in life when we say no and they get upset. When we say we have to go and they get upset. When we have to take them to the dentist appointment and they're not going to like it. When we tell them now it's time to go to sleep and they get upset and they get angry and they have up feelings and down feelings and they go through puberty and then they go through different stages of life. Then we got to set set the boundaries and not let it get impact. They tell they could tell us, I hate you. You're so mean. And I wish I had another mother. They're like struggling and pulling and pushing and seeing how far they could push our buttons and how far they could push our boundaries. And we, like an anchor, need to stand in our space and tell ourselves, I'm doing the best I can so that I raise a mature, capable adult. We need to stand in our ground as strong anchors and remind ourselves I need to help my child to become an independent, con confident, and considerate adult. So giving in to all their wishes and all their requests and never saying no to them is creating a bubble lap, lap of illusion. Making them all never feel that life is unfair is an illusion. Never having them work to earn something is an illusion. Never giving them chores in the house is an illusion. Never having discussions or disagreements or different opinions is an illusion. Never having um, a, help, a healthy, a peaceful disagreement with your spouses in front of your children is an illusion because no matter who you are how good of a parent you are whatever it is the real world out there there will be disagreement there will be disappointment there will be times that you feel like life is not fair and that you feel like why is this happening to me and if your children don't learn to build a tolerance and muscle for that as they're growing up now they'll never learn it later when it comes to sibling rivalry, especially as hard as it is, I lose my mind too. With it, trust me. I mean, people watch my videos, they're like, you're such an amazing mother. I'm like, to you, I might be. Come ask my kids. They don't think I'm an amazing mother. They have their own issues with me because my role is not to be their cotton candy. Like, I'm not there to just make everyone feel good. I have amazing knowledge and wisdom, but my children are not products. My children are not Play-Doh that I shape them and they stay there. I have my own way of dealing with things. They have their own way. And sometimes we clash, head, head clash, you know. Um, they are assertive and opinionated. Thank God it's a challenge for me and my husband. It's difficult, but I keep telling my husband, listen, when they become adults, they're going to be self-sufficient and on their own feet. They challenge us in parts. They say, you get them out of the Mexico? And they squeeze the living daylight out of us. But at least once they go on to college, we know that they are going to be able to assert themselves and express themselves. So my message to you is as mothers, don't beat yourself. You shouldn't beat ourselves up. Do the best you can. And remember, if they tell you you're not a good mother, you're this, you're that, hear them out. Let them have their feelings. You know, you never get this for me. I can see you're very upset for me with me right now. And you feel like I never get it for you. I get it. That's how you're feeling towards it. I absolutely get it. I hear you. You know, I'm not going to change. I'm still not going to give it to them. But I let them feel their feelings. They're allowed to feel their feelings. That is the reality of it. People are allowed to have their emotional experiences and reaction based on certain answers. I'm not there to always make them feel happy. That is not my role. My role as a mother is to help them be raised as mature, responsible adults and also have consideration. So by that, there could be different times that they experience different feelings based on my different interventions. And I am just have to keep reminding myself, 
to take care of my own vessel as a mother and praise myself for the things I've done and just keep trying and going and not to reside with guilt and think a good mother is the one that never says no to her kids. Thank you for watching. This is Natalie Sandan.